Hello there. Do you play backgammon? Oh, maybe you don't, but you might want to learn. Um, but I don't know if you've got this problem with your backgammon set, if you've got one, and if you haven't, you might want to make one that yeah, uses some of these little improvements that I've got in mind. So, a WH Smith backgammon set, and it's pretty good, but uh, it's not perfect, and there are a few things I, I want to change about it. Uh, one of the things is these pieces, they fit reasonably well, but you can quite often end up with a situation like that, you just sort of can't get them, they, they, they're sort of lying flat, and you know, the worst case is if it's like that, you just <laughs> really hard to get out. The other thing is when it's properly packed away and then you know wrap it about where does everything end up because i'm demonstrating it's not been too bad but you can see these you know this dice isn't quite where it should be um and these are starting to come out here so i thought that i could 3d print a little kind of support under here that would be at an angle slightly. So that each little piece would have an indentation for its slot. You know, so they could lay like that. Um, it would also raise it slightly. So when this is closed, there's absolutely nowhere for them to go. And similarly, a little bit of support for these. So there's nowhere for them to go. Um, so that when you, if you do rack it around, Nothing rattles. So, hey, I'll put a bit of blue tack on there. You know, does it stick to the, the roof of the, you know, the lid, I should say. Does, it, does the lid even touch that? I don't think so. There doesn't seem to be any kind of sense that that was being touched by the lid. Make it a bit fatter. It's all very scientific, this. <laughs> More cap than I would have thought. At last. Wow, I, I mean, no wonder they, they can get out of position, eh? Ah, so we know that we need to pack it out by yay much, which I can obviously measure with my calipers. Measure it with my calipers? No, I don't think we'll bother with that. Uh, just eyeballing it, it's about 9 mil, which is much more gap than I thought there would be. And obviously we don't want to be that accurate, so we're just going to build it up by, I don't know, 7 mil, something like that. Um, and I do apologise for that dreadful footage, but I wanted to keep it in simply because you actually see the genuine surprise of that moment. The other thing I wanted to improve or make better for me, I mean, it wouldn't suit everybody, I don't suppose, but is I would find it hard to remember exactly where to put all the pieces. So I wanted to lay it out with the actual markings. And in fact, if you look back at the footage that I started with of the set, you will see that there are some pencil marks, um, but I wanted to make that a bit more permanent and just mark it up with some, uh, yeah, permanent sharpies, um, just to make it easier to remember how to do that. And also, um, jumping around the the curve, as it were, around the bend hmm, on the uh, outer board, I think they call it. Um, yeah, setting up some arrows there and a few markings I'm not sure how much of this I'll actually put on my set but yeah just been thinking about how to lay it out and don't you just love the colors of the set yeah and the other well a couple of other things that uh, are ways of improving a set like this is I'm just gonna open these catches and open it up and oh I've got various other games in there um, yeah so just cards, bananagrams, and something called tantrics, which I may introduce to you at some point. But the other thing that you probably didn't notice, but when I opened the 
the lid like that. These catches, they kind of keep the lid off the off the deck. So if you're going to play backgammon sensibly, you have to push the catches up. It's a minor thing, and I don't think I'm going to, be able to do anything about that. But it's worth bearing in mind. So that's going to be white, and that's going to be black. I think that's how I'm going to do it. Uh, big bold steps going to make marks on this thing. All right. It doesn't have to be in a different colour. That fire's a bit big, isn't it? Oh well. Well, that was an easy fix, wasn't it? Well, I don't know if it fixes anything. I'll let you know how I get on. <laughs> Do comment, by the way, whether or not you think it is a good idea. And the same for the 3D printing, which I think we'll have to do next time. Let me know whether you think that's a good idea. And we'll wait and see how it comes out. <laughs>